So the app pairs. How does how does the actual app situation work? Well, like what what excites me about how using it? Well, you can immediately pair apps together by just clicking and holding one, and you hit group, and that will help. That will um, prompt you to group the app. So I have you here. These two folders. I can use my mouse to show you. Time waste and piano. So for example, time waste. Let's open up the time waste apps, and boom, immediately Facebook and Twitter. Great. Look at this. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling simultaneously. This performance is crazy town, but that's what it is. See, I use, I clicked that or I tapped that at once and it opened up both apps at the same time. And perhaps there are some app pairs that you're always going to use. Oh, I'm talking to you over here. You're always going to use together. Here's a more interesting one. So social media, that's an obvious gimme one, but how is this actually useful for doing stuff? I have this one called piano. So I tap piano and it brings up my, uh, my sheet music app. So I can load up some my sheet music here, put this on my piano, play, and then I can record using the sound recorder app here. I can just record as I'm playing so I can play it back instantly. So I don't have to cycle between or toggle between two different apps. Whatever your hobby is, whatever your profession is, you're going to find app pairs like this that, are, that change the way you're able to incorporate a mobile device into your day-to-day -day life. Just quick swipe up to close these, and they're gone. As you can see, I've, I've used widgets to help my home screen. And if I fold my Surface back to make single screen, it immediately readjusts on my Your Phone app as well. So you can see I have these widgets. Uh, that's, again, just part of the Microsoft launcher and Android. Um, I have my to-dos. This is the to-do app. If I click this, it brings up my, the Microsoft to-do app. This is my Outlook calendar. So I can scroll here with two fingers and, and scroll through the different screens on my uh, Duo like that. It is incredible. And then in terms of optimization for dual screens, so we we're talking about how some apps are not optimized, whereas others are. Well, if I go into my email, let's say here's Outlook, it's just using one screen right now. However, if I just push it over, to the middle where it occupies both, let go. Now I'm using Outlook in a very different way, a very familiar way. Hi, Carrie, what does she have to say about Unite? Tap on her email and boom, it loads up right there. This is an optimized app for dual screen, as you can see. This changes how you interface with email on your mobile device. Um, it gets better though, it, gets, it really does. So let's put it back over on one side. Let's see, if, if I were to click on this link on a single screen device, what happens? You, know, you click on a link and it takes over your whole phone. It, it would make email go away, right? With this, if I click on this link, oops. Hey, it's okay. I promise you it does that. This is, this is demo, this is demo hell now. Now we're into demo hell. So let me try that again. There, did you see that? I clicked the link and it, and it popped up and then moved it over to the open screen. So just by clicking the link, it knows that, hey, you're already using this app. Why don't you push that over to the other screen? And there you go. Now you can keep both apps running and both apps moving just fine. So that is a good, that's, that's two examples of how an app is optimized, either for full screen or uh, for launching another app side by side when you, when you trigger that app to be launched. Um, in fact, if I, Go to, let's say, oh, maybe I'm going to make a note in Office. So let's do a, a new note here in the Office in the Office app. And I want to take some of this content from Carrie's email, copying and pasting. From, and I'm using my finger right now. I'm sure I, you're still seeing in the Your Phone app. So I'm highlighting the, the content I want to copy. I could tap copy and then tap paste. But again, I'm on a multi-screen device, so if I just click and drag, if I just click and drag on that text and drop it on the right side, it's done. This is dual screen. This is what you can't go back after you've, after you've experienced this for a day. You can't go back. I just dragged and dropped something from one app to another on my phone without having to launch it or toggle it or do some impressive random gesture that I need to memorize. No. Tap and drag to the other screen. 
it changes how you use your device and what you think is possible from your device.